Hey guys, welcome to my third part of the complete guide to how to customize your LPS. Uh, in this one I'm going to be talking about sculpting. Um, I'm mainly going to be telling you about the material that I use, which is Kinetatite. I've never used anything else, so I can't really help you with those. Um, what I know is that you should be using an air dry clay, uh, rather than one that you have to bake, because I don't think that it's a good idea to put your LPS in the oven. Um, I've heard somewhere that you can maybe use like a blow dryer or a hair dryer to um, to, to make the, the, the clay dry. Um, <laughs> I haven't used that myself, but it might work if, if you try it. Okay, so as I've said in multiple videos, um, the stuff that I use is called Knedatite um, or green stuff. You can check it in the description if you don't know how to spell it. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I get it because there are so many different sellers around the world and it depends on where you're from and what, you know, who the best seller is. I mean, I'm from Finland and I buy mine from a local shop, so clearly it's no point for me to start telling you about that because most of you probably live in the US. So anyway, um, it looks like this, what I'm using. Um, basically, you can see that it's two components, uh, like this, it doesn't dry if you just use it without mixing. When you mix them, it becomes green, and that's when it's gonna start the process of drying. Um, that usually takes, I don't know how long, maybe eight hours, but I just let it dry overnight so that it's for sure not going to start getting ruined if you touched it or, um, if you touch it or sculpt something on top of it. One tip that I have is just be very, very patient when you're sculpting. Um, like here is, for example, my moth fairy. Uh, you can see that I've sculpted it. I sculpted a lot of stuff on top of it. Um, I've done it in several layers, so I started just by sculpting the antlers, and then because I like the detail so much, I just let it dry overnight because I don't want it to get ruined if I start sculpting something else on top and I accidentally touch it too much and it just loses its shape and all the details that I made. Um, after that I sculpted the vines and I sculpted the flower crown and it's still not done, it's still gonna get some more details. So tip number one, just be really patient, take as long as you need to just preserve all those lovely details that you've made. Just don't rush it and don't, don't sculpt too much at once. That's literally my biggest tip for you. Uh, now what you're going to notice, if you're using green stuff like me, is that it's very sticky. Uh, and for that you can just use water on your hands and just kind of keep your hands wet. Um, note though that if your LPS gets really wet then um, the kinetotide doesn't stick to it, so just be careful with that. You can be creative when you're thinking about what tools you want to use when you're sculpting. For example, when I started and I didn't really know what to use, um, I just had this uh, nail tool. I don't really know don't really know what it's for, I don't do much stuff with my nails, I just know that this is a good tool for sculpting. So that's what I do with it. You can just use whatever that's metal or plastic. Um, I've never used anything wooden, so I can't tell you if that's gonna work or not, but um, yeah. Another thing that I use very frequently are these um, flower molds. I have a lot of different ones. Uh, basically you can find molds for pretty much anything that you want to sculpt. Um, so yeah, you can find them from various sellers. I'm not going to start listing the ones that I've bought from because there are so many. But yeah, um, just make sure that the mold and the clay you're using is compatible. So that's my tip for you with that. And remember to just use plenty of water. If you want to know how I make flower crowns, like, um, like this one, for example, on, on this one's head, uh, just check out my flower crown tutorial, which explains how you can make those and what you should take into consideration when making the flower crown. Other things that you can do if you're using Kinetatite is because Kinetatite is epoxy based, um, it contains a little bit of glue, it sticks by itself onto your LPS, you don't have to use additional glue to that. That also means that if you want to, for example, put some small details on it, like, I don't know, I have these sakura flowers, I haven't ever attached them to anything, but hypothetically, if I wanted to, um, I would just stick them to the green stuff and they would st stick there. And by the way, this one has already dried, that's why I can touch it as much as I want without it getting ruined. So yeah, um, that's something you can do with Kinetatite. Don't know about other clays, but yeah, this is a really great modeling putty that you can use for your LPS and it's pretty perfect for that. Mm. Another thing you can take into consideration when sculpting is if you have some sort of really large parts for example, antlers that are really complicated and huge, you can actually use steel wire to give them 
just a little bit of structure and that's gonna also make the sculpted part much more much more durable so you can do that I used I did it for example with my Deku princess custom that I've shown you in a few videos I think I've pretty much summarized everything that you need to know about sculpting so let's just get to it and I'm just gonna show you how I sculpt my chibi espion the Pokemon yes and in case you were wondering this is my chibi umbra yeah I'm just gonna sculpt it and I'm gonna put that um, at a much higher speed than I normally do because I don't want to bore you guys with the live version of how slow it goes <laughs> um, also another tip for you about something that I've been doing a lot in my videos is that if you sculpt something and it doesn't look good just scrap it just take the time that you need or you can also just sculpt on top of it if it's like a larger and more complicated piece but just don't settle with you know the first version if you're not happy with it just be patient as always and good luck with sculpting and have fun and yeah I'm just gonna sculpt Espion now hope you enjoy that And we're done. Thank you for watching.